Across the western United States, the water supplies for millions of people are threatened by climate change. In the inland northwest, we're actually better off than most. But even in a place rich with water, challenges remain. New at 5 o'clock, our power of water coverage continues with meteorologist Matt Gray as he explores how climate change will affect our water supply. In April 2023, the Spokane River is only just beginning to rise, surging with melting snow from the mountains above. The waters that surge over the falls are just a small part of a complex water system that sits below our feet. During the last ice age, dozens of massive floods spilled across the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene region. Left behind was loose rock and soil hundreds of feet deep. This 370 square mile area that we now live on top of is the Spokane Rathrum Prairie Aquifer. Each day, over 900 million gallons of water flow in and out of the aquifer. A little over 20% of that water is used by all of us. It supplies the drinking water for over 600,000 people. So that is highly unusual and a very, very precious resource. Andy Dunow is one of many people at work to keep our aquifer healthy. He says that the health of the river will mirror the health of the aquifer because they're exchanging water back and forth all the way down the valley. If we suck too much water out of the aquifer, it theoretically can go dry, and that's bad for fish and other species, scenic views, ecology, and so forth. You can see how low the Spokane River has gotten in recent years, and climate change is making this scenario much more likely. In the next 70 years, the inland northwest is projected to get more rain than the past, but less in the summertime. And more importantly, temperatures are going to average 5 to 10 degrees warmer than they did in the year 2000. That's more rain, less snow, and the snow that does fall is going to be melting off earlier. That trend it's already been happening around here for decades. Climate projections show that as early as the 2040s, river levels will be peaking in April instead of May or sometimes June. And the Spokane River is going to have 50 to as much as 75% less water in late spring and summer. And when the river has less water, the aquifer does too. Tony Lee Hansen works with water utilities in the area to help preserve the aquifer. She says the climate change problem is worsened by the fact that we're using the most water during the driest part of the year, mainly because of watering grass. It's the combination of the two that can really impact us in the summers and uh, cause us to have insufficient water for the river um, and could over time impact the, the aquifer too. Older wells in Spokane already have to stop pumping when the summer water table drops too low. Repairs and upgrades to three affected well sites in the city were estimated in 2021 to cost at least $38 million. We'll need more wells, too. Over 100,000 more people live over the aquifer than in 2010. Water is just going to get more expensive because there's all the pipes and pumps that, uh, you know, to bring it to all these homes. So climate change leaves us with a strange reality. We have all the water that we could ever need, but when we need it most, it's the hardest to get and will only get harder and more expensive to acquire. It's why Andy and Tony Lee are focusing on summertime water conservation. We're not telling people to get rid of lawns. We're saying, are you efficiently watering your lawn? Do you have things that are broken that need to be fixed? In Spokane, Matt Gray, 4 News Now.